Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making some easy and amazing chocolate pudding. So let's get started. First off, grab a medium pot. I'm gonna add half a cup of sugar or 100 grams right inside. I also want a third of a cup or 33 grams of cocoa powder. You can use any cocoa powder you like. This is a dark Dutch processed one, but if you wanna use natural cocoa powder, it'll be chocolatey and delicious too. Dutch processed cocoa powder will have a darker color, slightly less acidic taste, and um, that's basically it for this recipe. I also want two cups of whole milk, it's 480 mils. This is delicious already. I'm gonna pop this over medium heat, stirring frequently. I want it to get nice and steamy, but not come to a boil. Now, in another large bowl, I'm separating out two egg yolks. The whites, I don't need today. Just that creamy, amazing yolk. I used to love chocolate pudding from those cups. It was like my favorite little afternoon treat when I came home. This is so much better, and it's really easy to make as well. So you can have fresh chocolate flavor, no preservatives or nonsense, just something delicious and amazing. And it's really mostly milk. Yes, there's sugar, but there's also chocolate too. It's the best of both worlds. To my egg yolks, I'm adding two tablespoons of cornstarch. One and two. These are gonna work together to give us a nice silky consistency. My scale's done. I'm also gonna add in the remaining quarter cup of whole milk. There we go. Don't forget to come back and stir every once in a while. Grab a whisk, whisk this together. <laughs> you know, cornstarch is really handy, but it's really annoying sometimes too. It was like stuck on the bottom and my whisk caught it. Okay, that's whisked together. I also wanna just have two tablespoons of butter cubed up and ready. Butter can be cold or room temperature, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm back on stirring duty just until I see a nice steamy situation happening. Just gonna whisk this up a little bit. I see some clumps of cocoa powder that are bothering me. This is nice and steamy. I'm taking this off heat right now and I need to temper this mixture. If you've ever made a custard, you know you have to slowly whisk some in. So, grab a trivet. Don't damage your countertops. I'm gonna get about a cup of this mixture and drizzle it in while I whisk vigorously. So, whisk, whisk, whisk. So I'm heating the egg mixture up while whisking it and it's raising the temperature nice and gradually so it doesn't scramble the yolks. This is gonna give you a silky custard. If you just dumped the hot mixture in, you might have like a kind of scrambled egg texture and that's not what you want chocolate pudding to be like. Okay, now that this is tempered, I'm gonna whisk in the remaining hot cocoa mixture. There we go. And now this can go right back in <laughs> to the pot. This has been warmed up and it's ready to be cooked. So the point now is to take this overheat and get it to just the right temperature so it sets and has a wonderful silky texture. Right now you're looking for the consistency to change. So you're gonna whisk, whisk, whisk. It'll look the same until it changes in an instant and you'll see trails being drug through by the whisk. It'll have like a pudding-like consistency basically. Once that happens, immediately take it off heat. Okay, that's good. I have my two tablespoons of cubed butter ready, so I'm just gonna plop those in. This, of course, is gonna give us an added bit of richness, silkiness, and also help set things. I would be remiss if we didn't add two teaspoons of vanilla. It gives you a little bit of extra depth of flavor. And if you wanted to have more chocolatey flavor, the secret would be adding a little bit of espresso powder. So at the beginning, when you're adding in the cocoa powder, or really any point on the stove, maybe one teaspoon of espresso powder will give you an extra chocolatey boost. But if you're making this for kids and you don't wanna risk any caffeine, skip it. Whisk in the butter. Oh my gosh, the smell is so wild. So we're whisking until melted. And right away, you'll notice it becomes even silkier. It's so much more glossy with just those two tablespoons of butter. If you wanted some hot, steamy pudding, <laughs> this is delicious as is but most of us want this to set. It's time to transfer your pudding to a clean bowl, and if you don't want this to develop a skin, press either plastic or parchment paper right onto the surface so it's in contact, and that way it'll be pure delicious pudding. Otherwise, you'll just have to peel the skin off and um, eat that as your special treat. In you go. <laughs> Once chilled, remove the covering, and it's time to scoop this out. Fill your cups. 
top with whipped cream and shaved chocolate if desired. And now it's ready to enjoy. Mm. That is a chocolate lover's dream. Pure, silky chocolate amazingness. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe, and if you like this video, check out my easy chocolate playlist.